born black and I was born poor. Well, your beautiful self down here. How many of them are there? When you went to fill out applications, what did you do? You lied. Damn right I lied. Hollywood was cloaked in sorrow on October 24, 2023, as we said goodbye to the legendary Richard Roundtree, the embodiment of cool, as John Shaft. Now you got about a half a minute to tell me what the hell you want with me. Please gonna be a basket you white through that son of a bitch out the window. He departed at 81, having valiantly battled prostate cancer. A trailblazer, Roundtree revolutionized how black men were depicted in film. Yet, despite a celebrated five-decade career, his relentless health battles loom large, threatening to curtail his remarkable journey time and again. Born in the bustling life of New Rochelle, New York, on July 9, 1942, Richard Arnold Roundtree's journey from an ambitious student to a celebrated actor is a tale of raw determination. Raised by John Roundtree and Catherine Watkins, he set his sights beyond the familiar after graduating from New Rochelle High School in 1961. His brief stint at Southern Illinois University was cut short when the allure of the acting world proved irresistible in 1963. That same year, Richard's personal life took a romantic turn as he wed Mary Jane Grant. Their union brought forth two children, John James and Kelly, but Destiny had other plans, leading to their separation a decade later in 1973. The ink barely dry on his divorce papers, Roundtree found solace in the arms of TV icon Kathy Lee Crosby. Yet, it was his 1980 marriage to Karen M. Ciernia that defined an era, blessing them with three children, Trevor, Richard Jr., and Taylor, until their paths diverged in 1998. This saga of triumph, heartache, and relentless pursuit of passion makes Richard Roundtree a captivating study of resilience and stardom. Richard Roundtree's ascent to stardom was nothing short of cinematic. Freshly dropped out from college and a forsaken football scholarship behind him, he set his sights on the silver screen. It was 1963 when he captured the attention of Eunice W. Johnson at the Ebony Fashion Fair, catapulting him from runway to iconic ads for Duke Hair Grease and Salem Cigarettes. His off-screen charisma was just the beginning. By 1967, he plunged into the theater scene with the Negro Ensemble Company, making a splash in his debut role in Howard Sackler's The Great White Hope. There, he portrayed a fictionalized Jack Johnson, the trailblazing early 20th century heavyweight boxing champion. In 1971, Richard Roundtree became a pioneer with his portrayal of John Shaft, the sharp detective in the groundbreaking film Shaft. Shaft's his name. Shaft's his game. This role was not only reprised in sequels like Shaft's big score in 1972. What did he tell you, Shaft? Stay away from black hunkies with big, flat feet. And Shaft in Africa in 1973. But also extended into a short-lived TV series the same year. Uh, cat named Shaft ain't gonna be bad with a stick. Shaft revolutionized cinema. It introduced a black action hero who defied racial stereotypes. He was suave, tough, and an irresistible force, earning him the nickname the Black James Bond a title that he carried with unyielding pride. Richard wasn't just a hero on the screen. He became a cultural icon, embodying Black empowerment and resilience. His portrayal won him a Golden Globe nomination for New Star of the Year and cemented his status as the first Black action hero. Through every suave line and daring rescue, Richard Roundtree didn't just play a part, he inspired a movement, proving the enduring power of charisma and courage in challenging society's norms. In an interview with SiriusXM, he says he has constantly been reminded of the impact the movie has had on the Black culture. I'm proud of that, he says. These are the types of stories I've heard all those years, and I'm really proud of that. An experience in, at LAX coming through TSA, and this guy was watching me, watching me. And uh, <laughs> as I got through, he said, could I have a word with you? He says, I'm from Alabama, and as a kid, we had to sit up in the balcony. And because of watching that film, 
made me strive for something more than Alabama. Uh -huh. And he was the, he was in charge at the LAX. And then it, it, those type of stories I've heard all of these years. And people will come up to me and say things like that. It, it, that's, I'm very proud of that. After yeah. his shaft sensation, Richard Roundtree didn't just walk. He strutted into an eclectic mix of roles. Picture this, rubbing shoulders with Ava Gardner and Charlton Heston and the seismic 1974 hit, Earthquake. Fast forward to 1975, and there he is in Man Friday, winning hearts as a debonair and altruistic companion. A punishment like a man. I am a man. Look, if someone does something bad to someone else, they are punished. Is that right? Yes. The well. buzz was electric over Icon, famously tagged by Benton Canby of the Times as the most expensive movie ever made, with Roundtree standing strong as an army officer next to Lawrence Olivier. But hold on to your hat, because in 1984, he shared the screen with Clint Eastwood and Burt Royals in City Heat. Yet, nothing tops the drama, like the 1982 showdown with the colossal flying wizard in Q. What a wild ride. Personally, I don't trust that curator or anybody else we talked to over there. I think they're all a bunch of... Richard Roundtree's illustrious career, spanning over five decades, saw him embody a multitude of captivating characters across film and television, Notably, he starred as Paul Patterson, the patriarch of Mary Jane in BET's hit series, Big Mary Jane, alongside Gabrielle Union. The only goal that has eluded you is a husband and a baby. That show had us absolutely riveted. Even in his 70s, Roundtree brought a raw authenticity to his role, confessing that the profound conversations his character Paul had made him yearn for similar talks with his own children a true testament of the impact of his roles, both on screen and off. In an article by Kelly Carter, she quotes Roundtree by saying, I wish that I could be that forthright. I wish I could have been that forthright with them. And it shows. The unnerving part, it shows my shortcomings with my own kids. Chats he'd had in character as the family's patriarch made him wish he'd been armed with things to say to one of his own children. Richard Roundtree's compelling portrayal of Sam Bennett, the suave carriage driver in the seminal series Roots, 1977, made a significant mark. On the 25th anniversary special on ABC, Roundtree reflected on the series' profound impact, sharing how it compelled white Americans to face a stark historical reality. Damn, that really happened. While best known for his iconic roles in the 1970s, Roundtree's acting journey spans far more. From playing a shrewd detective on Desperate Housewives 2004 to embodying historical figures Booker T. Washington and having our say the Delaney sisters first 100 years 1999, his roles across several decades reveal a versatile talent. In films like Seven 1995 and Once Upon a Time When We Were Colored 1996, he displayed his robust acting prowess. Over his extensive career, Roundtree graced over 25 TV series and numerous films, continuing to captivate audiences well into his 60s. His enduring presence in entertainment highlights a remarkable career that spans over five decades. Richard Roundtree's distinguished career has earned him numerous accolades, highlighting his impact on cinema. He received a Golden Globe nomination in 1972 as Most Promising Newcomer, Several NAACP Image Award nominations, including Outstanding Actor for Shaft, 1971, and Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for 413 Hope Street, 1998. His iconic role in Shaft garnered him the MTV Lifetime Achievement Award in 1994. Later, he was honored with the African American Film Critics Association Legacy Award in 2011 and the Glenn Strange Honorary Award from the New Mexico Film Critics in 2021, cementing his lasting influence in the industry. Despite his glamorous career, Richard Roundtree's life was shadowed by severe health struggles. In 1993, he faced an unexpected battle with breast cancer, revealing his vigilant nature in a 2019 Extra TV interview. He recounted a chilling moment in Costa Rica when he detected an unusual symptom while showering. I, being a hypochondriac, I was on the uh, working in Costa Rica in the shower. That's strange. Without delay, upon returning to Los Angeles, he sought medical advice, leading to an urgent biopsy. Maybe four or five days later, he calls me up and says, Richard, I need you to come in. We need to talk. And I went in, and uh, he's telling me that... Um, 
you have cancer. And I hear this, and he says, I'm not, uh, you have breast cancer. Wait, how could that be? I'm a male, I, I can't, uh, breast cancer? And this is 1993, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I thought he was questioning my manhood or <laughs> something. You know, well, how could I possibly have breast cancer? Richard Roundtree underwent a double mastectomy after catching his cancer early, a decisive move that marked the beginning of a grueling battle. He faced six months of intense chemotherapy, which left him so debilitated he could barely leave his bed, shedding 18 pounds in the process. His fight for health was both a physical and mental trial, pushing him to the limits of his resilience. He told the host of Extra TV that it was a shot to his confidence, feeling embarrassed when he first got diagnosed and then self-conscious after the surgery. I'm not a real beach person to begin with, but uh, taking off my top is an issue. I still look in the mirror as I pass the mirror in the morning going out of the shower. Initially, Richard Roundtree kept his breast cancer battle hush-hush, worried it might crash his acting career. But in 1999, after a clean bill of health, he felt compelled to lift the veil on the silent struggle among men. His candor not only shattered stereotypes, but also ignited a wave of support. He met men who had hidden their own battles out of shame, now drawing strength from his openness. Women approached him, saying he'd saved their husbands' lives. Men shared their stories, finding a brotherhood with Roundtree, their fellow warrior. His journey from secrecy to advocacy sparked crucial conversations and forged unexpected oh, bonds. Says, oh, Mr. Roundtree, you saved my husband's life. When I, uh, I meet my fellow warriors, yeah. no matter where I go, around the country, around the world, I mean, people come up to me and say, I'm a breast cancer survivor. And there's an there's a, there's a automatic camaraderie, fellow warrior. Yeah. We're here. In an interview with People magazine, he explained that he had to lie after his procedures to ensure that he kept booking jobs. It was hard having to lie to keep working. Every film you do, there's a physical. Have you had an operation in the last six months? No, 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 no. When I had a physical, I'd always keep my undershirt on. I felt bad, but I couldn't be unemployed. On October 24, 2023, iconic actor Richard Roundtree passed away at the age of 81 after a brief yet intense two-month battle with pancreatic cancer. He died peacefully in his Los Angeles home, surrounded by his devoted children and grandchildren. At the time of his passing, he left behind a legacy valued at $2 million. His longtime manager, Patrick McMahon, confirmed his death sending shockwaves of grief throughout the entertainment industry and among his many fans. Artist and representative agency mourns the loss of our friend and client, Richard Roundtree, the agency said in a statement. His trailblazing career changed the face of entertainment around the globe, and his enduring legacy will be felt for generations to come. Our hearts are with his family and loved ones during this difficult time. Other celebrities took to social media to give their condolences and praise the work that Richard had done throughout his life. Samuel L. Jackson stated in an Instagram tribute, Richard Roundtree, the prototype, the best to ever do it. Shaft, as we know it, is and always will be his creation. His passing leaves a deep hole, not only in my heart, but I'm sure in a lot of y'all's too. Lonnie Love, Cheryl Lee Ralph and Gabrielle Union all spoke on the impact that he had on Black people in film crediting him as the prototype for the Black sexy detective in movie. Richard Roundtree's profound legacy will forever echo through the corridors of time as he shattered barriers and opened doors for countless Black actors. Despite battling significant health challenges, his relentless spirit never waned as he tirelessly advocated for the causes close to his heart. His enduring influence will continue to inspire future generations. May he rest in eternal peace.